Jarvis, here I am talking about Tony Stark assistant of Marvel films that you have already watched. So did you know what artificial intelligence is? Hi, I, Shadda Sanodia of Great Ninth, Paris Vidya Vihar, will be introducing you to AI. Many of the people think it is very complex topic, but believe me, I will make you understand in the easiest way possible. What is artificial intelligence? Before we answer that, let's look at these terms individually. What do you understand by term artificial? Well, it can be anything that is made by humans and are not natural. Now, what do you understand by term intelligence? It is the ability to understand, think and learn. So, what do we get when we combine these two together? Artificial intelligence. Yes, artificial intelligence is a broad area of computer science that makes machines seem like they have a human brain. The goal of AI is to mimic the human brain and create a system that can function intelligently and independently. Now you may wonder from where this technology has came from. Let me introduce you. Artificial intelligence is not a new word and not a new technology for researchers. This technology is much much older than you would imagine. The journey of AI started from 1947 with the evolution of artificial neurons. Do you know about ELISA? Let me tell you. ELISA is an early natural processing program computer created from 1964 to 1966. In 2002, iRobotic launched its first robotic vacuum cleaner named Roomba. In 2012, Google Now was launched, IP, a feature for Google search for Android and iOS. In 2015, Apple devices connect to the voice control intelligent personal assistant like Alexa. Impact of AI in our daily life. Are you surprised? Okay, so let's start with some examples. Virtual assistants, e-commerce, navigation, smartphone, online banking, finance sector, social media platform and security and surveillance are the some examples of impact of AI in our daily life. They say that the age of AI is here, but then you might be wondering why don't you see flying cars or robots bringing your lunch? Yes, because robots are nothing more than a cell counseling. If you have ever asked Alexa to order your food or Netflix movie suggestions, you are actually interacting with AI. Now let's see together at ways in which AI is used in school. Comparing to humans, AI generates digital faster. As online tutoring generates a large quantity of audio, image and video streams, AI can assist students to get their solution to their most frequently asked question in seconds. That's why CBSE advises to introduce AI in school curriculum. Now we will look what IBM chose in its 2022 AI adoption report. According to the IBM report of 2022, it states that China and India deployed AI technically approximately 8% in various industries. Also, countries like South Korea, UK, US and Australia deployed 22 to 28%. 13% compared with 2021 organizations are most likely to adopt AI in 2022. Now, the question arises, why should we start learning AI now? So, your answer is, people will need to work next to machines which have no creative abilities. Using such genes will become paramount and exciting. Also, business growth will develop and people's business knowledge will grow too. So at last we can draw the conclusion that AI will be implemented 100% in each and every industries in upcoming years. Also it will reduce the working effect of humans. But remember that it's not AI versus humans, it is a combination of AI and humans to solve problems. So what are you waiting for? Pull up your socks and get ready to be the part of this AI revolution. Start learning this trending technology now. Thank you.